Good afternoon, Imelda. Good afternoon, po, ma. Okay. Um, can you tell us about yourself? I'm Imelda Gundunan, 25 years old, single, but I have a live-in partner, high school graduate, ma. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start, Imelda. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to support my family in our financial needs, and I want to support my daughter in her education, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia? Because Malaysia is nearest here in Philippines, and... The weather in Malaysia is the same here in our country, ma'am. Okay. What was your latest working experience? I'm a waitress and help a health kitchen to the restaurant, ma'am. Okay. So are you are a waitress and kitchen helper in the yes, restaurant. Okay. May I know what was your educational level is? I'm a high school graduate, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? Because I'm honest, respectful, hardworking ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes ma'am. How about assisting elderly? Yes ma'am. Whose babies did you take care before? My own child ma'am. Okay, how about elderly? My mother, ma'am. Do you have experience assisting or, yeah, caring the bedridden elderly? Yes, ma'am. Who was that? My mother, ma'am. Your mother also. Okay, do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Like? Cooking. Okay. Um, are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relative stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Like Filipino food, ma'am. Okay. Are you I'm... aware? Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, Imelda, which do you like most? Cleaning, housing, ironing, laundry, ma. Okay. If ever you will be selected to work here in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My sibling, ma. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your working performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone. Yes, ma'am. Okay, instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Okay, can you describe for us your attitude? I'm honest, hardworking. Respectful, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will work hard because I want to support my family in our financial needs. Okay. Can you promise not to use the house telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? 
Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Fit to work, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid with dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you, Elmelda, and I want you to respond truthfully. Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if in case one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will work hard and I will, I will continue my job until I finish, ma'am. Okay, so what help would you give to your family members who passed away? Prayers, ma'am, and salary. I my salary, ma'am. Your salary. Yes. Okay. So, if in case right now your employer is watching you, what do you want to tell them? Why they need to hire you? If you choose me, I will work hard, and I will respect you as my employer. And I will follow all the rules and regulations, ma'am. Okay. Um, tell us about yourself again. I'm Imelda Gulunan, 25 years old. Single, but I have a I'm Imelda Gulunan, 25 years old. Single. But I have a lead-in partner. I have one daughter, high school graduate mom. Okay, and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Because I want to support my family in our financial needs. And I want to support my daughter in her education mom. Okay, thank you very much, Imelda. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.